Crashing. Crashing with friends. For. Intro the episode for us. I don't know how. Do it. Just feel whatever feels right. Just go for it. Just go I'm for a, it. All right, boys and girls. <laughs> welcome to a lovely edition of Crushing with Friends. As always, we have Kyle. We have Connor. Jackson is fucking around on his phone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. This one is yeah. 50 bucks. Best Buy. This week's guest, <laughs> myself, Jesse, and uh, Andrew here. What's up? Episode 134. Episode 134. We're in this. Let's get a squad. Part this is 134? Part two. Yeah. Part two? Yeah. Holy crap. 134 part two. That's wild. <laughs> Whoa, dude. We've never done a part two before, have we? Crazy. What do you mean a part two? We've done a lot of part no. twos, I guess. I mean, yeah, Part two of them both being on the podcast. Oh, think, fuck. At the same time, right? I thought it was 134 part two. Oh, I was like, <laughs> last wow. week's episode continued. That'd yeah, one, that would be one thirty three part two. I was, like, I was like, this is like one thirty four point B. You know, it's like, what the fuck's going on here? Right. That's not what's happening. What is going on? Here? <laughs> How's your day been going, Jack? How's your week? Ah, man, I can't complain too much. I guess. Uh, finally figured out like the Nexus mods and stuff like that on PC. So I've been playing with like some new Skyrim mods that I've not been able to play with before. Uh, did download the freaking, oh, what's it called? I forget exactly what it's called, but it's like a certain type of thing that like completely overhauls the graphics like hardcore to make it look like almost... A reshade? Yeah. I guess, you, I don't know. It's like, it's like a certain type of patch or whatever. It's like, like a really popular pack? one. Like a texture pack? Yeah, but yeah, now I'm playing the game. I'm like, man, this looks real good, dude. Really? Was it hard to mod? Uh, I mean, once I figured it out, it wasn't hard. The only thing that sucks is that Nexus mod like website takes forever to download mods from because mm. they have like a cap on all the download speeds. So if you're if you don't pay for it, then it's like capped at like one megabyte speed. Mm. And it's like, eh, I got. a you know, a like four gigabyte download here. This is going to take several hours. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, especially for those reshades. If you're changing the graphics, yeah, it's a big download. Mm. What's funny, though, is when you go to those sites, um, you, the best way to define, like, all the good mods, right, you have to go to the trending and then switch it to all-time trending, so whatever's been most downloaded. Almost every single video game I looked at was, like, how to get tits in it. <laughs> like the top, like you look in the top 20 Skyrim mods, it's like add bigger boobs, add bigger boobs to this. You go to Witcher 3, it's like make Priscilla, her boobs are always showing. Man. <laughs> like it's o- almost every single one of the games I looked at. Horizon Zero Dawn is like a- Aloy, nude mod. <laughs> I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> Horny dudes out there. So, of course, I'm going to download all of them. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to start up I'm going to start up a Twitch thing for our uh channel and I'm going to be like, "Check me out. I'll be playing as Aloy nude." <laughs> <laughs> You'd probably have to do that on like an OnlyFans or something. Dude, there you go. That could be our thing, man. That could be we your thing. <laughs> I guess it could be my thing. <laughs> oh, that could be our thing. <laughs> Come watch me on OnlyFans where I play all these games, but with nude mods. <laughs> and my wow. feet are out. Today is Femdom Day. That's right, dicks on chicks. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> wow. oh my I can see you doing that, man. <laughs> <laughs> totally, yeah. While listening to Game Metallica, yeah, <laughs> sing of my wife, wanna fuck gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm still on the hunt for that video, man. I've looked for it like multiple times since I've last talked about it. I've not been able to find it. Why just have to recreate the it, man. gay yeah. the gay remix of one by Metallica? It's the funny. It's I don't know. I only heard that snippet when it gets like really heavy. And I thought it was the funniest thing ever. I listened to it like for like six minutes, and it was just that one segment, forty-five <laughs> seconds long. 
It's kind of like that one video that I sent to you guys the other day of uh, that motorbike going across a cable and it launches that dude and it's <laughs> the old woman. Oh, man. I watched that like 20 times in a row. Smiled every time. <laughs> It's wild, man. It's it is wild. the craziest looking thing you've ever seen. It, if you were to watch, like, I don't think you've guys seen the video. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't see it. If you were to see it, you'd be like, that is some Final Destination shit right there, man. Nice. <laughs> but, yeah, that's been my week. Nice. What about you, Con? It's been a good week. I uh, started running this week on Sunday. I ran a mile. And then, yeah, right, dude. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and then, uh, t- Tuesday, I ran another mile. And then uh, yesterday, we went and played disc golf. Hell yeah! And that drained me, dude. Like, it's like all that running, and then finally on a really freaking hot day. It's, it hasn't been that hot. Right, yeah. So it was just like, dude, it was just it was draining, but it was a good workout. My legs feel good today. I was expecting them to be like butter or jelly or something, you know, but. <laughs> Like a margarine? Yeah. Yeah, definitely something soft. <laughs> uh, pudding. Yeah. Yeah, like a pudding or like a gummy bear, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or a nice cream cheese. Don't yeah. stop naming soft stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like a pillow. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a marshmallow, you know? Like aloe vera? Aloe vera, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a... Like a like a new puppy, little like a bulldog puppy, <laughs> a little soft little puppy. Yeah, then it's my legs. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a good week. Just been um, playing games, Hell Divers to Stronghold Crusaders. I like last week. I wanted to get my gaming time in. I've got the gaming time in. Good. We were worried about you. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a struggle last week. It's been a little bit of a struggle this week. Not gonna lie, but not as bad as it was last week. You know. We can get you help, Connor. Yeah. <laughs> get you the help you need. Yeah. Um, had a really good weekend. Uh, UFC 300 just... Yeah, I saw some of those knockouts. Blew me away, yeah. dude. Yeah. That Max Holloway finish on Justin Gaethy or... Gaethy. Yeah. Is that the one where he pointed at the ground and then knocked him out? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You got... Dude, you got to still respect Gaethy, Joe. Ga- yeah, Gaethy, though. you like, fuck it. Yeah, you guys nose broken in at the end of the first round, man. Mm-hmm. He had to fight four, four more rounds, rounds yeah. with a broken nose. I hear that's common for him though. They fight with broken shit all the time. Yeah, just you gotta just keep power going. Through it. Yeah. yeah. Power through it. Very, very good fight. Um, but the whole night great fights. <clears throat> One after another. There wasn't a bad fight the whole night, which is wild, you know. Nice. Um yeah, but the very last fight of the night, um, after the dude knocks the, the last dude out, they start playing this song. Um, I think it's called Danza Kuduro. Um, let me just double check that here in a second. But it's the song that plays at the end of Fast Five. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I like that song. <laughs> so um, that's also been my week is listening to that song. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Have yeah. you just been listening to the Fast and Furious playlist? Nope. Just uh, Danza Kaduro. Um, you didn't switch over to the Tokyo Drift song? Like, I've got a lot of the uh, the good songs from the Fast series saved in my playlist, so they come around here and there. But yeah, just this week specifically, it's been Danza Kaduro. I listen to a lot of those songs, but I listen to the remixes on YouTube. I think I like them a lot better. Mm-hmm. You listen to the uh, Wiz Khalifa, uh, Paul Paul Walker death scene song. You know what I'm talking about. The See you again, one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a good song. Yeah, it is good. The remix are still better. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the intro to six that Wiz Khalifa song. That one's good too. Money's the motivation. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, or something. Yeah. Money's the conversation. One of the two. I can't remember. Both. <laughs> yeah. We on vacation. I know that. <laughs> That's a good song. <laughs> but yeah, uh, aside from that, I've been really looking into uh, getting a, an e scooter. Hell yeah. Um, last year, I was really getting into like the thick of it, going to construct an e bike. And then I'm like, well, now I want a recumbent trike that I'm going to convert and do an e-bike. And I got down this crazy rabbit hole. Now I'm just thinking I'm just going to get an e-scooter. And then it's always <laughs> good to start out with. <laughs> Call it good, yeah. Start with something basic. Yeah. yeah from there. Exactly. 
that's what I'm thinking. And the one I'm looking at now is like originally I was going to go for one that looked like a, pretty much like a motorcycle in mm-hmm. a lot of ways. And I do think long term one day I will get that because it can go like 55 miles an hour or that's something. Dope. Yep. And I'm like, dude, that, I could kill myself on that legit, you know. Um, <laughs> but aside from that, this other scooter that I found, I can get a refurbished one. It's like normally 1500 I can get it for like 1000 oh, It's not bad. And it can go like 33 And then it can also travel for like 60 miles. I'm like, okay, this is like a one I could really get behind and use it every day. And dude, 33 with nothing protecting you is booking it just enough. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Even at just work. 20 is oh, just yeah. enough. Dude, I, like, I plan on getting a full-faced helmet and oh, yeah. gloves yeah. and probably elbow and knee pads, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I can see myself rolling. <laughs> I've thought about getting one of those ones that go up to, like, 60, but I'm like, I trip. I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm done. Yeah. I yeah, I was telling Connor about the ones that we we rode in Tulsa mm-hmm. and uh and they go about like twenty five, I think. Twenty five ish, yeah. Yeah. And uh and that's that's, that's pretty damn fast. It's it's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially when you turn in corners. Oh my god. <laughs> I was watching this dude on the internet the other day going on one of those things like sixty miles per hour and I was just like On the highway. I've seen yeah. guys on the highway. Yeah. I'm like, fuck mm-hmm. that. No, <laughs> yeah. Not that serious. I feel like it's a little bit easier when you when you like have the opportunity to sit down. Like the ones that are standing up, you start going that fast, you start wobbling. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things about this scooter I was looking at. I can get a seat that I can bolt on. Yeah. <clears throat> so if I do want to just cruise around town, that's what I'm going to do. But like if I'm going to work, I'll just stand and mm-hmm. collapse it, you know. Could you get pulled over for drinking and driving? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Mm-hmm. That's bullshit. You, you have to still obey all the traffic laws. Hey, only thing okay. can catch you, man. really small alleyways. In the That's country. true. What about regular <laughs> bicycles? Yes. Yep. You can yep. get... Yep. Skateboard. There's still public intoxication. They'd probably get more lucky to get you for that. On skateboard. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know if they can get you for probably riding. Probably the same on a bike. Probably just get you for public income. Yeah. yeah. You're not yeah. actually, it's, you, it's not motorized. Once, yeah. 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 Once you hit the motors, I think that's when you're you're done. Yeah. I think skateboarding, you're good to drink and skateboard. Yeah. As long as you don't get yeah. caught. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're not in traffic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I don't know. I'd run from them. Just be like, I'm in a Shrine or go-kart, be like, fuck you, copper. Yeah. <laughs> do the same tricks they do on the thing, like, do weaves and stuff. I've seen people running. <laughs> do a couple circles and like, go back in. They got those little handicap scooters people running from. I've seen those videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I bet if I were to do that, everyone in the town would probably just be like, this, there's a parade going on. <laughs> 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 and I'm just the leader. behind him. <laughs> But yeah, that's about it for my week. What about you, Andrew? It's been a pretty good week. Uh, it's been hectic at work, but we don't talk about that. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, you know, one thing I, w- I wanted to say was uh, the highlight uh, uh, of my life recently was getting to see uh, Dune in, uh, in IMAX. Went up to Ooh, Tulsa with Jesse. Two? and Yeah, part two. Dune Part 2. Got some fat guys. Got to see you doing. <laughs> you got some fat guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, load up them fat guys. Oh yeah, never been fat guys burgers. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely my favorite burger place. So, mm-hmm. but uh, but now I've just been, uh, I've been trying to get back into gaming, man. I'm, it's, it's been rough. <laughs> go back, oh, go back feeling. to your roots, man. Yeah, That's I'm what trying, I man. I'm trying to enjoy it again. Have you played the old Saints Row again? No. Nah. Gone back to that. No, you used to be all about Saints Row. I, I used to love the first Saints Row, man. That was that was my go-to. <laughs> that was fun. What what you need to do? They is... remastered that. Oh yeah, yeah. I played it for a little bit. It's not the same. Oh, uh, but yeah, you know, I, maybe it was the nostalgia. I don't know. Yeah, what's that, Kyle? You gotta. What you need to do, man, is you gotta play a game and actually like beat a game. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get back in. You yeah, I, you, gotta, you gotta get a game and you gotta beat it. Yeah, I'm I'm on the fence right now with uh, the Amazing Spider-Man and Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm 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 swapping between those two. Still trying to beat them. Love both of them. Still gotta beat Spider-Man so I can play Miles Morales and the second Spider-Man. Because I heard the second Spider-Man is is awesome. It's legit. Yeah, yeah. it's good. So is that Guardians game, man? It's got a really, really good story. Yeah, man. It's kind of hard for me to tell you which one's better, to tell you the truth. Because, man, that Guardians game, man, it does hit you in the feels as far as the story goes, man. Mm-hmm. It's great. Great yeah. characters, too. 
I think I've gotten farther on Spider Man than I have Guardians, but we'll see. So you talking about Spider Man Two and Guardians, or just Spider Man in general? Oh, I I lumped them both together. Okay. I've not played Spider Man Two on PS Five. I've only played the Miles Morales and for Spider Man. I heard Miles Morales was pretty good too. I'm looking forward to playing that. If I ever finish Spider Man. <laughs> And start checking some of these games off my bucket list. Mm-hmm. They're a good time, man. I've been playing Hill Divers too, and that uh, that's been pretty fun. I think it's about all my games I've been playing. You know, it would be a lot more fun to gamers like ourselves hopping on with you next time you play Hell Divers. Oh yeah, we're always like, we're always talking about like, man. Wish we can get people to play Hell Divers with us, man. Yeah. This'd be so much more fun if we just had one extra person. Yeah, it's fun for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> yeah, we normally play like one operation a day, so like a three mission yeah. operation, and we usually yeah, call it quits after that. You're telling me to play about an hour a day. That's, yeah. That seems about, it, about right for Hell Divers. Yeah. <laughs> that's what feels good. Unless yeah. it's a weekend, then I gotta play more. <laughs> yeah. There's there's uh, always time for more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's about the extent of my week. Nice. Jesse, your week. How is it? It has been okay, <laughs> really. Work has been busy, which is sucks, but it's fine. Helps the day pass. The days mm-hmm. have actually gone really fast. And uh, oddly enough, so have my nights. I don't mm-hmm. know what I've been doing with them and where the time's been going. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll get home and start a little project, and next thing I know, it's like time for bed. I was like, Where's the time going? I'm I'm losing it left and right. So it's know. getting sucked into your your fun. I hat, guess so. Hobbies. Yeah. It's wild. Are you like making something, or are you just just doing shit around the house? That's it. Cleaning and all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just guess lose track of time and don't realize it. Mm-hmm. Taking Crazy. the toaster apart, putting it back together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some tweaker stuff. Some of those pros are still pretty good. So yeah. Make a nice little topping. <laughs> Put it on your macaroni. Yeah, yeah, crunchy macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to get back into 3D printing. I finally got my setup. I thought you were going to say I'm trying to get back into crunchy macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, man. It's so hard. <laughs> I love the little crumbles. Crunchy macaroni. <laughs> Is there something you're wanting to print, Andrew? As like your next big project, like a macaroni necklace. Not yet. I uh, I've not used the new printer yet, so I'm, I'm hoping to just print something, just print something, anything, anything. See how it goes. Yeah, Looking forward still, to it though. It's new and improved. Yeah, I still need to give you some money so you can print me off one of those. Uh, it's like the one of the main bugs from Starship Troopers. Oh yeah, I forgot about oh, that. Yeah. yeah, I've always wanted one of those. Which yeah. one? It, the main spider bug that you oh, see. Okay. Okay. The main yeah. soldier bug, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, doing the uh, uh, Majora mask again for Connor. You know, the first one came out all right, I guess. I think the, the next one will be a lot better. Mm. <laughs> Kyle, how's your week been? <laughs> <laughs> My week's been pretty good, man. Uh, Still reading a lot of Invincible, trying to get through that, man. Uh, it just keeps getting better and better. Just some of the craziest stuff, man, that you guys are going to love. You're mm-hmm. going to love it. Um, it's really cool that they got renewed for four, season four and five. They're making a movie. Season three is like in the, like pretty pretty far into production, it sounds like. Mm-hmm. Man, Invincible is so good. Mm-hmm. It's popping, baby. And yeah. a triple A game. Triple and a, tri- a game. And a triple A game. Yeah, I it, have no idea what that triple A game is actually going to be, and if it's actually going to be triple A or if they're just saying it's triple A. Yeah, it's triple A yeah. mobile game. <laughs> Let's hope not. You guys all have phones, don't you? <laughs> another card battler. Yep. Y'all love another card battler. I don't mind card battle games anymore, man. Yeah. I, used to, I used to talk shit on yeah. them, and I don't mind them anymore. Midnight Suns is really good. Yeah, it is really good. That game is great. Uh, but uh, also, I've been watching that Fallout show, trying to get through that. It, the show is so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no spoilers. I'm only on on uh, episode two. I'm started yet, so just yeah. I, 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 I love it so on far. Episode three, but uh, God, it's so good. I just watched really like good. an episode a night with my wife if we you know get time. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing, watching it when I can. Yep. Uh, on the, I was taking Anakin to practice uh, a few days ago. 
he was going to batting practice and there's railroad tracks on the way there. And as I am crossing over the railroad tracks, dude, I see this guy, I look left and there's this guy, he's right next to the railroad tracks. He's got a, a red, like dry fit shirt on. Uh -huh. it's, t it's tucked into like black cargo looking like army pants. Maybe they might've been camo, uh, but they were like black. Okay. And guess what he was doing? Dancing. Was he masturbating? Nope. Keep going. Any other guesses? Chitting. He was working on his nunchuck, dude. Right, <laughs> right next Wait, to Wait, was that today? That was two days ago. I think I saw the same guy today. It was ridiculous. It's over by Europe Park, by the skate park, you know what I'm saying? Right in the middle of town. Did he have a tap out shirt? It, no, it was just a red, a red, just real tight fitting fucking dry fit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did he look Tucked like he into had... cargo pants. Yeah. <laughs> Did he look like he had a condition? I don't know. He was he looked buff, and but he looked serious, like he was preparing for something. I mean, you got to be serious about nunchucks. What do you think he might have been preparing for? A competition, fight with the train. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this train comes by every single morning. I'm gonna get him today. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude! Like that's my first thought was like, what? Is, what is happening with this guy? Is like, but uh, some people just train with their nunchucks outside for people to see. Mm -hmm. You want to show off? I mean. It's like strutting at the gym, like you were talking yeah. about. You know? <clears throat> strutting at the gym, yeah, it's the same thing. It really is. You're doing nunchucks by the road. Girl sees you, pulls over. Yeah, <laughs> you got a girlfriend, man. <laughs> I, I really hope. <laughs> I hope that guy gets some pussy. <laughs> I've done it many times, man. I'm, <laughs> my go-to right there. I'm going to pray tonight and be like, yo, fucking send some pussy to the nunchuck guy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude. I hope he gets some. Send him some pussy or a military hat. One of the two. <laughs> it's only right. It's like the tooth fairy, you know? But uh, other than that, I was, I for the last couple months, I've been noticing uh, abnormal amounts of lint in my uh, dryer room. Like, I thought you were going to say belly button. Uh, that's no, I, I, I check that quite often. <laughs> it's normal amounts. Where is it coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know? <laughs> uh, I use it for kindling. Just pull it out and start my fires with it. But um, I started noticing increasing amounts of lint. So... Me being a lazy fucker, I didn't think really think anything of it, but in the back of my mind, I knew what the fuck happened. You know what I'm saying? I knew that maybe oh, the hose popped off. Or it's clogging up. It, or it's clogging up, one of the two. But um, so I put it off. So I went to hit it with a scraper, like because I thought it was like a, just a normal amount of lint. And whenever I started scraping, it was literally like this thick, dude. Oh, shit. Mm. And that lint was all across the ground in my fucking behind my washer and everything. And it's a pretty big area. If you look in there, it's a really like it, I've got a fairly good size one. You know? Yeah. All right. Calm down, Kyle. Hey, dude, I'm just saying I've got a good one. You know? <laughs> He's got a mansion <laughs> size. <laughs> it's part behind big. the washer. It's really big. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> It's huge. You go in the mansions and you see this the room behind the washer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kyle's got more than that. I hope he does. <laughs> the shitty thing was, dude, like I've got fucking rafters that aren't covered up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And good God, it was even more up there, dude. I'm surprised you didn't just like hose it up. Hose it up. Hose it up. Suck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Vacuum it up, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Suck that it was shit. So, trust me, that's, that's, what I, that's what I started with first. Yeah. Because I started I, right here in the corner where... I, you started with sucking. Yeah. <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> dude, I sucked yeah. so hard trying to get that shit up, dude. I got on my tippy toes tippy and I was tough. like, suck, suck, suck. <laughs> Lapping it up. Oh my God. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I started with the vacuum and it just wasn't because it was so thick. Mm. So <laughs> thick, dude. You couldn't break it off. Yeah, man. I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. But uh, getting into the rafters, though, that was the shitty part, man. Because, oh my God, it was in crevices. You should have just burned it. 
I thought about that. <laughs> I really did think about that. <laughs> it was like one of my first thoughts. I was like, man, this would go up so fast. And then it would just go into vapor because it's just all lit. But I thought, man, can't be burning my house down. No. You know, take, so a, yeah. doing that. <laughs> take an aerosol can and a lighter. Fuck yeah, just oh, slowly yeah. burn it a little bit at a time. Yeah. Segment yeah. it, get a ruler and just cut into portions. <laughs> you would hope that it would work just like uh, like those fields that have like the whole bunch of web on them. And then they just set fire to one piece and it just slowly burns across the whole field. That's so cool. It that. is cool. It wouldn't work inside the house. Might. Yeah, it would work. It might. It, just a little too well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it would catch the house on fire. We can try it. But I spent pretty much a whole day cleaning that room out, retub- uh, retubing uh, everything. Good stuff. Yeah, man. Just being a good homeowner, mm-hmm. you know, trying so, not to kill my family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fires can start from that. Oh, yeah. But uh, what do you guys think I should could have done with that lint? I don't know. What did you want to do with it? I mean, I could have obviously maybe made a blanket with it. Maybe a coat. You wanted to make a blanket with the lint <laughs> that you got from the raft or something. Yeah. <laughs> there was so fucking much. Like I don't if you understand. Made, if you made pants out of it, it would it be like corduroy? <laughs> like, would it, would it be that same texture? Uh, Why don't you just Man. eat it, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> Put it in a bowl and eat it. <laughs> Mix it with some yogurt? <laughs> yeah. Just get a fork. Just, yeah. Dude, you... you, you, you it was so much lit, dude. It was fucking insane. But I, I probably would have lit it on fire, but I would have taken it outside. Yeah. Like, I would have been like, I still want to light this on fire, you know? Yeah. The urge to light this on fire is still there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I might drizzle it, get it really soaked with something. I could have thrown, it all, in like a, I could have thrown it all into like a cotton gin. You know where I could find a cotton gin? Hell no. I don't know what that no. is. <laughs> That's what started like the freaking like industrial revolution, right? Was the cotton gin, right? I think so. In the automobile, the cotton gin. How many lost me? In the WordPress, I don't know. The (laughs) WordPress, but yeah, yeah, (laughs) automation, whatever. Man, I had a question for you guys. Hey, what's your favorite? What's your favorite video game weapons? (laughs) Favorite video game weapon? Yeah, I heard someone talking about um, (laughs) flamethrowers in video games. Well, mine personally is the uh, Halo Energy Sword. Really? For sure. That's dope. <clears throat> mine would be Interesting. Outbreak, outbreak Perfected from Destiny. Outbreak Perfected? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Prime. Man, Destiny. Yeah, I was going to say, I think mine might be Dawnbreaker from Destiny. I think that's what it is. Dex Smith the Class. That's the one's uh, the exploding pistol, right? The exploding light pistol. Which one? Oh, uh, the gunslinger thing? No, not the gunslinger. It was an actual pistol that you got. I don't even think it was a exotic. It? I think it was a legendary, but it was one of the legendary pistols that you got had from Vault- impact. That you got from Vault of Glass. Oh, Fadebringer? Mm-hmm. Fadebringer, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. What I call it, Dawnbreaker? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the Close. sword That's a sword from Skyrim. That's a weapon in Destiny 2. Ah. Is that the I've RPG? Got a Dawnbreaker. Or the rocket launcher or whatever? Or no? Dawnbreaker? Yeah. That's Galahorn. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're thinking Galahorn. I was thinking the rocket launcher from Halo, obviously. Really? The sniper rate. Oh, yeah, dude. I've always loved the rocket launcher from Halo. The thing is that, just is that the three? Uh, it, it, only fires two. it only fires two. two. Okay. <laughs> but also the sniper rifle, iconic. Uh, you can't go wrong with the Doom shotgun. Zeus cannon from uh, Call of Duty Zombies. It's the upgraded version of the... I forget what it's called. The Zeus Cannon. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys played Call of Duty Zombies. Is it the upgraded version of the Ray Gun? Is that what you're saying? No, no, I can't nah, remember. Nah, you got the Ray Gun, and then you got, like, the other alien-type gun that's kind of, like, a big... It... I don't know. Basically, like, whenever you fire it, it just, like, anything that's in front of it just gets, like, blasted back hmm. and gets killed. I don't know how to explain it more than that. But... <laughs> mm, nice. But, yeah. That gun, <laughs> that gun. Um. So yeah, there's a lot of guns that come to mind. Um, <clears throat> Unreal Tournament, um, the flat cannon. It shoots a shotgun, but the ultimate fire is a grenade launcher. It's That's a very cool. good gun to have at all times. Uh, there's a saw blade gun where it's like you can dish out saw blades like crazy that you know bounce off walls, or you could alternate fire and shoot an explosive saw blade at somebody. So that's also really cool. 
Um, there's like a lot of really good ratchet and clank guns that come to mind. There's yes. like um, like a lava whip thing that you can get. Um, a lot of really cool like uh, energy based shotguns and stuff that just like look really cool when you shoot them. Um, yeah, there's like a like a multi like a four barrel rocket launcher in Ratchet and Clank too. Um, there's the Rhino. It's like rip you a new one gun in there that like destroys everything it like destroys everything that's on the screen nice. um so yeah it's yeah a lot of cool guns out there a lot of cool uh yeah. video game stuff going on here's an underrated one that no one's ever going to talk about the uh specter from twisted metal 2 his whole car is essentially just a big missile itself it jumps up in the air and then fires itself at whatever, and it it takes. I mean, it takes no damage. Whatever it hits takes all the damage. But that'd yeah. be a sick fucking weapon. I used to love Twisted Metal. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. the first one. Oh, well, what's Cloud's sword called? Buster Sword. The Buster Sword. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, that's pretty pretty good one. Even more powerful if Materia is also real. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could use that shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, Laura Croft's double pistols. Her freaking uh, ice climbing pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing's dope. I don't know. Oh I... man, uh, what's the name of the sword that you couldn't pull out of the stone in uh, Bloodborne? Oh, I thought you were gonna say Fable. it's the weapon. You know what I'm talking about. It's a big giant hammer, but it's supposed to be an, a sword that you pull out of a stone, but you instead you're too strong and you just pull the whole stone out or whatever. Ah, man. I don't know. I know there's like the Kirk hammer, but I don't know if that's the one you're talking about. I don't think that, it is because that one that you could buy that one really easily. So I don't think it's the Kirk hammer. It, it's probably a different. It's probably a different one. It's probably like a bigger we're, version. We're finding out right now. It's a, uh, Another good one is the uh, Blades of Chaos. Kratos is of Chaos Kratos' cool. is two swords. Yes. Mm-hmm. Also, his Leviathan axe. Pretty I was thinking more, the more of the axe, yeah. I like I the, axe. the axe. Really? I, like the swords better. I, uh, I just swords. enjoyed the animation of just flicking and then bringing it back. It yeah. just yeah, always true. looked so cool and was so satisfying every time. The, uh, the dagger from Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. <laughs> It's a dagger that can rewind time, man. It is cool. Pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. It is the Kirk Hammer. It's the Kirk Hammer? Okay. Yeah, the Kirk Hammer from Bloodborne. That's, I think it's dope. (laughs) (laughs) You technically technically can pull the sword out. My bad. That's, uh, whatever it's called, weapon alteration or whatever. Okay. Because you get like two different modes with the weapon or whatever. So mm-hmm. one of them is like, all right, you got the sword, but then you stick it back into the holster and you pull out the whole stone with it. Mm-hmm. Very so. cool. Very cool. Uh, there's the um, the Half Life weapon, the uh, zero point energy manipulator gravity gun from Half Life Two, the gun where you can pick up like saw blades or whatever you want, anything around the map, and just Fire it back at enemies. Mm-hmm. Pretty sick gun. If you ever played Half Life, too. Yeah, I was thinking of the Half Life Alex glove thing, but I'm like, it's not really a gun or a weapon. But it would be cool to be able to just like look at something and pull it to you with a glove. Yeah, I wanted to say thing, say the same thing for like the portal guns. You oh, know dude, so sick. Portal guns. Technically, you probably could use them as weapons. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you well, definitely could. Fire but somebody half. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Shoot send a somebody onto the moon. <laughs> yeah. You can send somebody in an endless loop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then just launch them. You know, <laughs> that'd be fun. Uh, you got the uh, Assassin's Creed hidden blades. Yeah. All right. I propose we create a top five of the best guns or the best weapons in video games. Best weapons in video games. Yes. Ooh, okay. Now that we've sat there and listed off a ton of them. I think if we're really going to be talking about the top five in video games, 
I think Battle Rifle. Were you I was gonna just about to say Battle Rifle, rifle yeah, Halo, man. Battle Rifle, yeah. The BR from Halo has to be in the top five. That, that's yeah. That as far as Halo guns, no offense to the sword or the rocket launcher, but the Battle Rifle, that's like. I don't know. I like the sword better. <laughs> <laughs> Put battle rifle slash sword. I don't know, but that shotgun though, man. That shotgun. Mm, I still think BR when I think of Halo. Yeah, I agree. I agree. SWAT. SWAT. So. Okay, so I'll put it on the list. We can we can knock it if we need to. I, I think the uh, the Prince of Persia knife is is up there. Yeah, I yeah. like it. But is it the most iconic? That's the thing. Yeah, it's we got we got to be talking about iconic. Maybe the the BFG from Doom. That's the, probably got to be one or something. One of the Doom weapons, you got to think. Maybe the the, the shotgun. I would say maybe the chainsaw the, or the minigun. I, <laughs> I would personally say the shotgun is it's mo- the most. Iconic weapon for the that super game. shotgun, the double yeah. barrel one, or whatever. <laughs> but the BFG is as well. I mean, the first thing we should probably do is like instead of just talking about what's some of the badass games, weapons, be like, all right, go through like the most famous games and what is the most famous weapon from each game. And that, I, that, I, uh, what? I was gonna say the Gears of War, uh, uh, the the Lancer. Yeah, the Lancer mm-hmm. was was one of my favorites. That is a pretty awesome weapon, dude. Being able to just fucking. Like okay. split somebody in half. Here's what we do. What gun do you think, or what weapon do you think is a lock? What that you, that you think should be on the list? Well, just looking up a quick thing online, just seeing the master sword on there blows my mind that I didn't pop on the master sword. Holy shit! None of us thought of the master sword. Yeah, from Legend of Zelda. That is a good yeah, one. I definitely say that has to be on there. Oh, I'm seeing one on here. The hammer from Smash Bros. That's a pretty good one. Mm-hmm. Keyblade. Um, hmm. Mega Man's gun. <laughs> Rebellion. Dante's sword. Soul Edge from Soul Calibur. Eh. The Dead Space cutter gun. The plasma cutter. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is sick. The Hammer of Dawn. Yeah, that orbital gun from Gears. Yeah, I don't know. Any of those popping? Fire Flower from Mario. I feel like it's hard to do a top five. There's a lot of iconic weapons. Jesse, what what gun would you say is a lock to be on the list? Or what weapon? Not gun, but... That's a tough one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think one of them obviously has to be the Master Sword. Yeah, I agree. And then I'd say maybe that, like, is it Muramasa Sephiroth Sword? Maybe? I don't know. That's only for us, though, Connor. I don't really think you guys have played Final Fantasy VII. Have you played anybody? Played Final Fantasy VII? Exactly. It's got to be, it's just a consensus of all of us, you know? So oh, so now it's all of us. It's not all the video <laughs> games, it's just all of us. Okay. Yeah. It's what we think as a group, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. And Well, in that case, they want to talk about the hammer from Super Smash Bros. The Pokeball was my fucking favorite, man. <laughs> you had no idea what you were going to get, man. It was always it, fun when you got it. Yeah, it was fun playing the only Pokeball rounds on Smash. Like, try to grab as many as you can. Try to catch them all. Would you guys put that in your top five? <laughs> Andrew and Jesse? Sure. You would? <laughs> I don't, I don't I just would. like, I wouldn't put, get the sure. fuck over with this. <laughs> I wouldn't put that in my top five. I don't know. I wouldn't put right. Pokeball in there. Look, let's look. Try to, like, try to throw out, like, some H1. Everyone, every one of you, name your top threes or real quick. Well, I, I already got two. It's definitely the Lancer and uh, and the Prince of Persia sword. Those, those, right. those are my two for sure. And then I, I'll say my top three would be the, the Halo sword. I as well think the Lancer should be on the list because I think the Lancer from Gears of War is 
one of the most iconic. Awesome. That was Very one of my dope. favorite things growing up when I was playing Gears of War, just being able to fucking <clears throat> slice somebody in half. That gun sold that game. It really for did. a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, yeah, it did. Like, it was fun, too. Mm-hmm. It was very yeah. gory. Like I loved it. Remember the crossbow being a lot of fun in that game, too? Man, I was good with the crossbow. <laughs> I fucking loved that thing. Be able to pop out and pop, stick somebody with it. Man, that was fucking... <laughs> yeah. That was satisfying. I'm going to tell you that. Watch him explode. Mm-hmm. I mean, I forgot about the crossbow. You think Lancer should be on the list, Connor? I'm good with the Lancer, yeah. I'd say it's the most iconic Gears gun mm-hmm. in general. I think, just, that, I think that makes a list. All right, what's the... Okay, what, now we need another one. So we so got Master well, Sword and that Lancer? Is yeah, that, so far we got Master Sword and Lancer. Well, I'm just going to throw you my top three. Uh, Battle Rifle Halo. Then I'm trying to remember what... Uh, what do they call her in uh, Control when she becomes the... Uh, the director? Yeah, the director's gun. The director's going to be probably my number two. Mm-hmm. And then the key, the key. <laughs> gun slash key or whatever they call it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, number three, I'm just going to go ahead and say Kirk Hammer. I love the Kirk Hammer. That's just going to be my personal, personal one thrown in. But I know, a- but I know it won't make it in the top five. <laughs> I like the battle rifle. The battle rifle. You guys think the battle rifle should make it in there? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Connor, what do you think? Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Okay. <clears throat> I love me some I mean, that is like one of the first games, or not games, guns you play in Halo when you first start out, so. Yeah, it's in Halo 2, though. But yeah. Yeah, did the battle rifle show up in Halo 2? It was not Halo 1. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. The Halo 1 gun <laughs> was the assault rifle. Okay. Uh, the thing is, you could really give it to either the battle rifle or the sword. Because I feel like the battle rifle is probably the most popular gun as far as like I don't know I don't know you know what I mean it's all three of us fucking love it he's the one guy that likes sword but the sword the sword sword is the most iconic looking one for sure it's like the closest thing you can get to a lightsaber almost everyone can see that sword and be like that's a halo sword hell yeah (laughs) what do you think Connor you think we you think we we should swap it out the sword and the battle rifle? Yeah. I'm good with either one, to be honest okay. with you. Yeah. I think the battle rifle for sure. I, th- I think the sword's a close second, but battle rifle. You you guys think battle rifle? I'll go with yeah. battle rifle, yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, Let's Connor and I looked at each other dead in the eye and was like, battle rifle? Yeah, that, we did <laughs> kind of have a moment there for a second. <laughs> okay, okay. What's the next one you guys think should be on the list? We got three so far. Didn't really think we'd go that fast. So we got Master Sword, Battle Rifle. What was the third one? And the Lancer from Lancer. Gears of War. Lancer from Gears of War. Man, you, I feel like we kind of have to throw a nod to Super Mario in some way. You uh-huh. know, with either the... Do we? We don't. I don't think we have to. It's like the Fireball. Yeah, it's like the... Is that a weapon? The one thing. That's the one thing. Fire Flower. Well, Fire Flower. Well, there's, yep, Fireflower. Fireflower, you get it on Super Smash and you just people. I mean, if we're talking about yeah. weapons, what about Kirby's mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Weapon of mass destruction, man. That mouth do work. <laughs> oh, bro. I don't think any of us even thought about this one. Nobody <laughs> thought about that one. <laughs> Hold on. We got to throw this one on there. Because it's the one that you can actually fucking use. The NES light gun for duck hunt. You know? Oh, yeah. How are you not going to call that like a classic weapon, man? Mm-hmm. It's a good, That's it's one you can hold weapon. in your hand, yeah. man. Yeah, it's cool. You can't tell me you did not fucking love that shit as a kid, man. As a skid. I don't know if it's the same type of category, though. I think, I, I think it's a loophole category right there. I think it's... I think it's Trump busting in like when he's already been arrested and all that. And he's like, guess what? I'm doing the debate too. <laughs> <laughs> I may be arrested, but I'm still doing the debate. Okay. What about Scorpion Spear? Scorpion Spear? Oh, dude. That's a good one. Like the. Get over here. Oh, yeah. 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 That's pretty iconic too, actually. Yeah. Mm. 
I don't know. I think that one could make the list, but that one could definitely make the whether list. Whether you've seen Mortal Kombat or not, everybody knows. Beretta. <laughs> hey man, I thought I thought we were doing this for our group. <laughs> for our group. Now now it's, but I'm saying now it's, it's like, back to the world. Well, I'm just saying the we world. Know, everybody knows. <laughs> Everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I like the Doom shotgun so much, but I think if we're gonna go Doom, we go with the the BFG man, the BFG nine thousand. Yeah. Have you guys played Doom at all, Andrew? And I played. No, I played time. one and two. Um, I don't know if I played all of the second one. What do you mean one and two? Like the old old ones, or like the new ones that the, came the, out? I, I think I played the old ones, but I'm talking about the new ones. The one and all two. right. Yeah, I've played the original Doom, and I played. The newest Doom and Doom Eternal. Yeah. I tried playing Doom 3, but it was too hard. Oh, they got a third one? No, you never heard Doom 3 for original Xbox? No. That game is more of a horror game than anything, man. Like, that game, like, all the the other games feel fun. Doom 3 feels like a fucking nightmare because it's hard. And, yeah, they they also do the effect where it's like, ah, it's hard to see them all the time. You know, kind of like a I don't know other games where you can't see the enemy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not getting a lot of uh, plasma cutter from Dead Space. Maybe uh, what else? Come on, what are you gonna say, Connor? We got two more uh, slots. I'm, just, to I'm fill. not getting a lot of pops as far as guns that would really push me over the top. So whatever everybody else says, I'm good with. <laughs> I would just say, like, weapons in general, though. You know, if, we, if we're going strict guns, you know. I mean, the hammer from Super Smash Bros. is a fucking... It's like, it's a win button. Once you get that it in is. your hands, it's like, okay, mm-hmm. now I just gotta touch him. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say hammer. Yeah. I'm good with hammer. That is, like, the one of the most overpowered weapons ever. It's it's better than getting the Pokeball, I know that. Okay. We can throw the Smash Bros. hammer on there. You guys did we, the did we put did yeah. we put the pokeball on there? No, because no. we might be able to just knock the pokeball off. Then didn't even throw it on there. All yeah. right, okay, because the hammer deserved the spot anyway. You think so? All right, it's on there, number four. So we have one left. One left, one spot. Jesse, what 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 do you think should be on the list? That has, that you think should be a lock. Kratos's blade should be. On. Good the blades of chaos. Yeah. yeah, I do like that. Makes sense. He's a he's like the PlayStation the, the face of PlayStation at this point. Him and Aloy and Ratchet. I yeah, I think the blades of chaos yeah. should be on there. You can't have Kratos without his blades. Yep. Mm-hmm. They are badass in every game, even in the new game. They're badass. They're yeah. fun to play with. I love the new game. The fact that you can use both weapons. Oh yeah, you can use the axe and the blades. I thought that was a a, a good touch. Game changer. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I love throwing that fucking axe and, and sending it back. You think we should throw it on there? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It, it, it's like the closest thing you can get to, like, Thor. I think that's why I liked it. Mm-hmm. It's like being able to just fucking do some combos with, <laughs> with both. It gave me Jeepers Creepers vibes. Like how he that dude was able to throw, like, his ivory bone knives and then kind of call them back. And he was the only one that could make a move too, which is weird. I don't know. You only know that if you ever watched Cheapers Creepers 2. You watch anything past that, you're wasting your life. (laughs) 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 Cheapers Creepers 3 sucked. And then the one they came out with after that sucked. Might be why I can't remember the third one. (laughs) So we got Master Sword, Lancer, Battle Rifle, Smash Bros. Hammer, and Blades of Chaos. That's good list. It's a good, good list. It's a good list. Yeah. yeah, put an honorary mention to the uh, the Goss rifle uh, warthog from Halo. Okay, the best two man oh. gun vehicle combo out there. The warthog. All right, appease Connor. Appease him. You know yep. what I'm saying? That Goss rifle. Oh, I definitely warthog. know what you're saying. That thing yeah. is fun as hell, you dude. Whip on that thing. <laughs> yeah. I would play that shit right now. <laughs> yeah, loading up in a Warhog with a Goss. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Chink. Mm-hmm. Chink. Yeah. Free kills, baby. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's real good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I might upload a video of that to YouTube or something of us rolling in one of those nice fun times. Um, you guys want to go ahead and move into a yo dude? Check this out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. bro, dude. Yo, dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. Oh. Dude, I work with was trying to say that that is not the eps- That's not the song anymore. The uh 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 uh. I was like, dude, I've used the same file for the last <laughs> couple of years, man. I've not changed it. Yeah, talking to you, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> it's never been anything different because I never made anything different <laughs> except yeah. for that one alternative song where I was like. Fuck you, Connor. <laughs> yeah, that's always a good one. Man. We love that cut. Yeah, we sure do. Yo, dude. Hey, yo, fuck you, Connor. This is the track. <laughs> that's all we'll play. <laughs> uh, yo, dude, check this out. Um, a city in Germany officially banning the use of electric scooters starting this weekend. So we're going to start a revolt yep. against these people. Time to take a trip. Scooter squad. But they do have a good reason. It's because... Um, but have a damn good reason. Apparently, the people are able to just rent the scooters with just an ID, and people are using like fake IDs and stuff, and then just like leaving the scooters wherever, and it's become a problem. Which I think that happens that sounds, with a lot of. A that lot sounds of more like a, a sounds like free scooters. Well, it sounds like more of their problem. I mean, if they're stupid enough to let you do an ID to to rent a scooter in the first place, I mean. Yep. So, but yeah, that sucks. Lame. But they might they might be able to figure it out let's not blame the scooters all right exactly that's what i'm saying companies need to figure it out they need to have accountability for the riders Mm -hmm. and maybe um punishment we're bringing it back you leave a scooter out in the middle of the road maybe you go to jail for that or something yeah you know maybe you get checked (laughs) maybe you get curb stomped (laughs) yeah just ride over them I think that happens in every city though with those scooters. Yeah, it's like every, every big city. city I go to, they're they're just everywhere. Right. Right. St. Louis, when I went to St. Louis, there's fucking left in places everywhere. Mm-hmm. Random spots. People drive them until they run out of juice and just drop them. It's like, dude, mm-hmm. that's not. Oh, I've seen so many just literally dropped, no kickstand, just throw it on its side. Crazy it's like, what man. The fuck man. So People anybody don't that respect property, man. Anybody mm-hmm. that knows me knows I love animals. So I'm gonna give you an animal fact real quick. So yo, dude, check this out. A woodpecker's tongue. Actually wrapped all the way around its brain, protecting it from damage when it's hammering into a tree. It's the craziest fucking thing I've ever heard. It's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Wish my tongue could do that. What, what if you could get your hands on that tongue? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it'll wrap all the way around. Yeah, it starts hammering. <laughs> Protection. Man, there's a lot of things I could do with that tongue. <laughs> I ain't got nothing on Gene Simmons. Name five right now, Connor. Five things you can do with that tongue. Lick a bunch of taffy. Okay. Um, clean my nose. <laughs> yeah. Um, Go to war with an anteater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, grab a remote. Um, <laughs> touch a, a close friend and warn them about impending danger. And then... <laughs> That's um, not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> tie my shoes. <laughs> That's what I could do with that tongue. A good list, Connor. Yeah. Now rank those. What do you think? Tie my shoes is number one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I really want to start that, doing that. Would that would be very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> I got to use my hands for other things, man. All right. Uh, yo, dude. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> yo, dude. Check this out. There is a woman in Britain who weighs close to. Oh, let me do this real quick. All right, so she weighs close to 1,089 pounds. Ooh, so this How is, is that possible? We're just going to say she's not mobile. <laughs> no, she's not. Not only that, but she is like one of the few people in the world who is logistically heavier and bigger than a bear. Jesus. So Ooh. you got that going. <laughs> so like, would you have to get like a custom bed for that? Like, Jesus. I think at that point, you just send her out to the woods and just say you're a bear. You live yeah. a cave now. <laughs> yeah. You live a bear's life now. 
Yeah, I think you'd have to get a crane for that. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah. I feel like that should. We should have a standard in this this society that at any point, if you become heavier than a bear, you are now classified as a bear, and you should be treated as such. Mm-hmm. Shot if you're inside a house. You should only be out in the woods, away yeah. from people. <laughs> So then what would it be if you were like the lightest person? The lightest person? Yeah, what should you be treated as? Squirrel rules. Squirrel rules? Like, more like a bird because they got hollow bones. Yeah, bird. Say like only eat nuts. You got to live in the tree. <laughs> you know? Make yourself a hole. <laughs> That's what you get for being so small. <laughs> hey, I would, feel, just, I would just, feel like almost at that point, like you'd be almost too small to actually move on your own. So the only... Your, your biggest hope is to like become like a, like a purse dog or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For like Paris Hilton. <laughs> That'd be sweet. <laughs> That'd be like your best bet just being the tiny person. <laughs> Instead a- of Paris Hilton's purse. <laughs> <laughs> just make yourself a hole in a tree. I know a woodpecker. They do crazy things with their tongue. <laughs> Think of all them goofy dogs you've seen like Paris Hilton holds. Just replace that with a tiny full grown human. <laughs> Like Oompa Loompa or smaller? Smaller. Okay. Yeah, I can see you doing uh, that. You ever watch uh, the freak show season of American Horror Story? No. There's a little tiny Indian person. I, I want to feel bad. If, I'm calling everyone Indian today. No, she's Indian. Okay. Yeah. I could swear she was, but she's like... World record holder for small. So person. what do you call yeah. that? Uh, racially ap- appropriate? Mm-hmm. Like, she's literally tiny. Like, she doesn't even come, like... She, like, maybe comes up halfway on my shin. That's how tall she is. That's crazy. Yeah, I think she's, like, barely over a foot. Maybe two, max. Poor thing, man. She's a little tiny girl. My mind's going yeah. places. Oh, let's, she's let's, married let's, to a normal size yeah, guy. Yeah, say, let's move on. <laughs> she's married to a normal size guy. What does that say about that guy? Oh, my God. That he likes people? She's people, too, Jack. Yeah, she's a person. She should be able to find love. Yeah, Jack. What's that, what's that say about oh. you? All I gotta say is... <laughs> well, you can't find any black women, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who he tries to date whenever uh, they separate. Let's just find... Let's just... Well, somebody found Let's her, Let's wait so. and see. You know? uh, there's somebody for everybody out there. Apparently, there's two two somebodies for her. Yeah. He's you probably like, I thought she was four. That's oh, probably shit. what he's thinking. Damn. This entire time, I thought she was four. Now, I'm okay. not sure if... Indian customs? I'm not sure if that's what they're into over there. I don't know. Now I'm making up stereotypes. We do arranged marriages at the age of four and 34 over here. What about you, Jesse? Yeah. (laughs) Yo, dude, check this out. So back in 2001, a 13-year-old Boy Scout named Cody went missing for over 18 hours in Yellowstone Park. He eventually found a clearing... And being a good little Boy Scout, used the back of his belt buckle to try to get planes' attention as they flew over. He finally found one, a plane, got their attention. Guess who the pilot was? D.B. Cooper. Nope. George Bush. Harrison Ford. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Holy shit. That's cool. That's pretty dope. I like to get rescued by Harrison Ford. Yeah. <laughs> Send me to Yellowstone. <laughs> what are you doing out here? <laughs> Indy. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he sounds like nowadays. Uh, when I was Harrison. Speaking of, of uh, <laughs> old, have you seen Clint Eastwood? Jesus, he looks like something off of. Uh, Fuck, he's in one of the night. That, that guy is like yeah. that guy is a crypt. month away from being the crypt crypt He looks like he came out of fucking Jumanji. Mm. He's like a raisin, right? Yeah, he's, yeah. He's nothing but gray hair and gray beard. To me, he's he like just looks straight up. Crypt keeper, you know. You got you guys know the guy who's uh chasing um Robin Williams and Jumanji with the Yeah. Fucking, oh, yeah that's okay. what he looks yeah, like. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. fucking hat or whatever. Yeah. That's his uh that's his dad well, or whatever dad, in the yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Took me fifteen years after I watched that movie to realize like, oh, that was his dad. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to tell though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh yo dude, check this out. My great grandma was honored a couple weeks, uh, like a week or two ago, for the she got the Congressional Medal of Medal of Honor. Her and thirty thousand other women for their service during World War II, for being a riveter on the P thirty eight Lightnings. Nice. Hell yeah! I don't know what that is, but 
Congrats. So you see like those pictures of like the t- posters of like, we can do it. And it's like a woman. Oh, yeah, yeah, with, yeah. Like, yeah, riveting. But what is it? Planes? Yeah. Planes. She just, you know what a rivet is? No. It's just putting a, putting a bolt kind of thing into just a surf, like a two, two pieces of metal together. Oh, okay. Just riveting them together. Like, yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, she was one of like 30,000 women that, you know, got that medal. Pretty badass. She's dead now, but. <laughs> Still cool. So cool. So Spare cool. what my grandma did. What she was she a do? surface gal. Yeah. Service gal. Service to soldiers? Mm. No, no, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you, man. Hey, commendable work. Hey, man. Yo, dude, check this out. You know that show that I love so much? If you watch this podcast called For All Mankind? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you guys hear that they're making a spinoff show? And it's going to be about the the flip side. There's going to be about the Russians and what they were going through during that whole process and showing it from their point of view now. Oh. Uh, like at Rock, it's going to be called Star City. Maybe huh. made by a lot of the same people. Mm. I'm gonna Is it, it going to be like the exact same timeline and everything? Like uh, same show, but just you're seeing the Russian side and not the American side? That's going to be the opening premise, you know. Huh. We'll, see how, we'll see how many seasons it gets, but it sounds like it's just going to be... I don't know, showing the showing their whole thing from the beginning. It's you know, it's going to be like a lot of Russian intrigue and you know, backstabbing and all that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. A lot different than the a lot different than the uh, a lot of KGB um, stuff. Yeah, that's the main premise of it. It's going to be you know, Russians doing Russian things. Yep. But I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty damn good. Apple TV doesn't tend to make bad shit, you know. Yeah, yeah, They're, they I'm do pretty like, good. I'm just like not really caring too much about russian based stuff you know not unless it's about <laughs> rasputin russia's greatest love machine yeah <laughs> yeah i feel you on that i guess yeah but yeah. i'm still gonna watch it sci-fi sci-fi yeah. i think it's gonna be good yeah it's like that that uh game that came out i forget what it's called it's like dude i want to be a russian superhero atomic like, heart yeah it's like i don't care how good your game is I don't, just don't care about it <laughs> right but regardless i mean russians still make good stuff even you know not every russian's bad you know yeah i'm not i'm not uh what you say racist or prejudiced against uh russian people but yeah there's no reason to support that kind of behavior <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a space race show but i feel you but uh i'm looking forward to it you guys have anything else any words of wisdom? Don't do drugs. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't stand with Connor. I think Russian women are amazing. I would totally order one of you if I could afford it. Um, buy some candy, eat it. Was he say don't smoke crack? Is that what he says? Yeah, that, <laughs> that reminds me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ain't cool. And that should be your pants. Mm-hmm. Or does he say that? Raise me at my next point. What What does he say there? In the water boy. Oh, like after he's like, <laughs> yeah, like after- Bobby Boucher, how are you so, like, what makes you so intense? He's like, oh, well, I see the guy gets a football and I try to tackle him. Unless he hands it to somebody else. <laughs> that I try to tackle him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hmm. Fellas, which brings me to my next point. Don't smoke crack. And that brings us to the end of the episode episode 134 and that further proves my autism that they say i don't have mm. i can remember that movie like the back of my hand <laughs> you're what? not autistic dog yeah what day's my so, birthday what day's your birthday yeah um july 32nd then you're not autistic he's not what is my birthday uh august 32nd <laughs> Such an awful, awful person. June sixth. No. June sixth. Sixteenth. <laughs> June tenth. June eleventh. It's in June. You got a June birthday. Is it? Yeah, it is in June. Is yours June twenty fourth? <clears throat> it is, but it's easy to remember mine because it's National Skateboarding Day, Solstice Day. It falls on days. <laughs> also, yeah. remembrance. How do I remember my brother's day? 
Hitler. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's literally the only way I remember it. Oh, yeah. It's the pothead day. That's all right. That's, I don't know my sister's birthday. I barely remember my mom's and my dad's birthday. Do you want to reveal all this information right now? I'm just telling you. <laughs> my autism is with movie quotes and not with birthdays. Okay. Okay. Fair. <laughs> Love you guys. Scooter Squad out. Bye. I got autism. <laughs> <laughs> Autistic. Crashing with friends. Podcast.